Happy New Year, Libra. Happy New Year. Happy 2024. This is your Astro Tarot reading for January 2024, the first month of the new year. And let me just say, this month, your direction will be in getting your personal relationship straight, to getting your home situation straight, to making things better with your living situations, and to have a better understanding of your personal needs. And it all starts on the fourth with Mars, the planet of courage, the planet of energy, the planet of assertiveness, the planet of motivation enters into your home situation, your home sector. What does this mean? That means if things are not right, you're going to straighten them out. There is going to be a push, and I did say push because Mars is aggressive. Um, a push in terms of improving situations, either in terms of how you live or who you live with. There's going to be, you want to upgrade, more focus. You say to yourself, I am tired of this being this way regarding my relationships, my family relationships, or in terms of the condition of my home. But let me say, uh, Mars is not going to be by itself. Mars is going to be assisted with three other planets. And we're going to talk about that a little later because I have my first astro tarot message, my first deck of tarot cards. And let's see what the first message is for you, Libra. What is the first message for you? And 2024, what is the first message? The first message is hostilities. Okay, here we go. Now, because Mars will be in your house of where you live, your home sector, and it's going to cause some stress because you may run into a very difficult situation. You may live with someone who is hostile, someone that may not want to have peace, someone who may not want to have change, someone who likes the way things are that causes you stress. And you're going to be forced to face some hostilities from someone you either live with or someone you live around. This can be your neighbors. You can have a hostile relationship with your neighbors. This can be your landlord. You paying your rent and they don't want to do any fix-ups or improvements, or they're just absolutely uh, not, they just like ignore anything you time you call them that you need something, and it creates a relationship of hostilities. Let's get some clarity on this card. What is it that you need to be aware of? Some situation that could become hostile. Let's get some uh, uh, clarity. And the cards, this first card is, oh, mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Be careful of people betraying you. Someone betraying you. Someone who, you know, uh, think they have the upper hand on you. This can definitely be a landlord situation. This can definitely be someone that you live with. Someone may not be telling you the truth about matters. They keep you in the dark. They gaslight you. They say that they're not doing this or that to make you unhappy, but they are doing this or that to make you unhappy. And because of that, it has created a hostile situation in your home. But let me just let you know that on the 11th, that new moon, new moon is going to arrive in your home situation. What does that mean for you? New moon means you have a new attitude, a new direction, a new way of doing things, a new perspective. You're going to want to make some changes. You're not going to let things stay the way they are. You're going to say to yourself, I want something different and I want something different now. And Mercury is also going to be joining the planet Mercury, Mercury uh, the, the new moon. The new moon is going to be joined by the planet Mercury. Mercury is the planet of communication. It is the planet of strategizing and thinking. So you may have to have a really strategic conversation with someone you live with or someone you live around to express yourself, to let them know this is what you require. This is what you want and if it cannot be done then then you're gonna have to take things to a whole nother level let's get some clarity on that what other level might you have to take your communication with someone you either live with or someone you live around let's see what direction you may have to take okay you may have to say to them that you know you may have to find your own way the fool as you see is somebody who acts foolish Someone who is not aware of danger. There could be danger. The danger is, is that you may have to set your, uh, set some limits, some guidelines, some boundaries. And if they are uh, keep acting foolish, that you are going to have to put your foot down and they may have to be a change in the living arrangements. Absolutely. But let me just also let you know that Venus, the planet of love and comfort, the planet of ooh, beautification is going to be in your home situation. So one or two things can happen. One or two things can happen. 
Venus is about, you know, pleasantness. Plea Venus may actually bring harmony. After you have that conversation with someone, if it is needed, you and things may actually calm down. There may be harmony in your relationship. Or you decide that, you know, you don't like the way you live and you're going to start beautifying your home for the new year. You're going to get rid of this, that, straighten this out, declutter, you know, energize your home. You may decide that you want to entertain more in your home, bring other people into your home. But whatever it is, Venus is going to add a touch of pleasantness, a touch of harmony to your home situation regarding your environment or with the people you live around. Yes. And I have my second deck of tarot cards. And let's see what the second message is for you, Libra. What is that second message? For January 2024, the second message is healing begins. Now, this is interesting because we're talking about home. What situation do you need to heal in your family? Is there is there like a, a problem in your family? Hostilities in your family? Somebody mad at somebody in the family? Cis family members not speaking to this one? Or you, you live with somebody and y'all are not talking or things have been unpleasant? Well, this card indicates that healings begin. You're going to have a chance to heal things. And it could be after you have that conversation um, or that you, you know, you, 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 the situ you sit down and you make some rules and some boundaries that healing begins. Let's get some clarity on this card. What kind of healing is needed. What kind of healing might you begin this month? And it says here, oh, finances. Okay, this is a big, big issue. Money. There can be unfairness in money. You may be living with someone and they don't pay their fair share or all the bills fall on you. Or, you know, the situation is that you got two jobs and they got a half a job, you know, or they don't want to talk about money or there's too much spending going on. You know, there can be money is power. So, you know, there may be a healing needed regarding the finances in your household, or maybe healing begins in terms of you looking for a better situation. You feel as though you're wasting your money living there. You don't like it there. You know, you're not getting your money's worth. You, so you start looking for a better situation altogether because on the 20th, the sun, the sun, the bringer of growth, the, uh, see, whatever the sun is, there is, uh, optimism, there is abundance. There is prosperity and it enters into your house of creativity and your house of romance. Oh, things are going to change. You're going to start to, you're going to say, I need this to make myself happy. Maybe there is something, a project that you want to start and you've been waiting, delaying, you know, listening to people telling you, you wasting your time. You're going to start doing that. Your creative energy is strong. One more thing is that you're going to let your hair down and start doing what you want to do romance this is the chance for romance better romance changes in romance if you're not in a relationship you going romance can come your way yes you're going to seek enjoyment but one thing i have to let you know that pluto the planet of rebirth transformation is going to enter into that house and what it means is that it's going to change the way you've been seeking enjoyment Change the way your relationships have been going, your romantic relationships. Change the way that you've been using your creative energy. Maybe your creative energy has been totally spent on trying to keep someone in your life. You know, making phone calls, doing things for them, going out of your way, you know, making sure they're happy. Pluto is going to say enough of, of, of using your energies in the wrong way. You're going to do things to create or empower the joy in your life, to get more independence, to get rid of the burdens that you have that stop your joy. You know, if you have a project that you want to work on, Pluto is going to empower you, give you the determination, the willpower to see it through, to figure out what is stopping you, to get rid of the challenges and the obstacles and say, if this is what you want, this is what you can have. It's going to reconnect you to your joy, to your joy. And I have my third deck of tarot cards. And let's see what the third message is for you, Libra. What is the third message for you? The third message in January for you, Libra, is power. Oh, we just said that. Didn't we just say power? You're going to have more power, personal power. Power to change your life, power to change existing stagnant situations, 
power to face your challenges. You may not, listen, if there is a mountain, you may not climb up that mountain, but you can walk around that mountain. You're going to have the power to overcome your obstacles, to fight your battles. You are not alone. You're going to transform. You're going to dig deep in your soul and find the courage to face whatever it is that is stopping you. Let's get some clarity on this card. What might be stopping you? What might be in your way? What is it that you need to be empowered for? Well, there's going to be better luck. Listen, you will bring better luck in your life by facing your battles and not running away from them. You know, you got to create your luck, manifest your luck. You know, do whatever it is the spirit tells you to do. To don't be sitting down waiting for things to happen. To be empowered. To empower yourself and to shift forward. Because on the 25th, that full moon, that full moon is going to be in your house of friendships. Your house of relationships. Your house of social interactions. You are going to become more aware of the people around you. Is this person for me? Is this person not for me? Why are they in my life? What do they want from me? Do they uplift me? Do they stimulate me? Are they inspiring? Or do you have people that just tag along and don't offer any good advice, no good conversations? They just tag along just to see what you're doing because they know Z, they don't have anything else to do. You're going to change your associates. You may start joining organizations, you know, aligning yourself with other people that are more uh, progressive and that are aligned to doing things with your, with your positive intention. So this is going to be a great month for change for you, a great month for change. And I have my fourth deck of tarot cards and let's see what the fourth message is for you, Libra. What is the fourth message for you for the month of January, 2024? The fourth message is action. Okay. Time for you to take action. Stop sitting on your behind. Stop procrastinating. Stop waiting for things to, to change. You got to make change. You have to make change. What kind of change is necessary? Let's get some clarity. What change is necessary for you, Libra, to make improvement? What change is necessary? Okay. Wow. You have many options and you're going to have to make a decision. What do you decide? What action? What, what uh, direction? Do you need to focus on? Don't be confused. Sometimes you can have too many options and you don't know what to do, which way to go. Action is needing, needed. So let's just see, get one more clarity card in terms of what option needs to be taken. And that option is, oh gosh, whatever responsibilities that you have, make sure that they are your responsibilities and people haven't put their responsibilities on you. This is a card of burden. What burdens are you carrying? You got to be strategic about your burdens. There are some burdens that you cannot, not, you can't avoid. You can't avoid, you know, having a job. You can't avoid paying your bills. You know, you can't avoid taking care of your family. But what you can do is avoid having other people place their responsibilities on you when you, uh, they don't belong to you and they just add more on to your, uh, your responsibilities and your burdens and they don't belong to you and you have to let them go because on the 25th uranus uranus the planet of independence the planet of freedom is going to come and allow you to free yourself from situations that don't belong to you and also to move forward with making dreams come true what goal do you have what dream do you hold in your soul what dream do you have in your heart? What is it that you want to do? It is time to free yourself from burdensome situations and allow yourself to move forward. This is your life. You have to enjoy your life. You have to fulfill your life. You cannot let the burdens and the responsibilities of other burden you, hold you down. And I have some good news that on, when Ju Jupiter goes direct, Jupiter is direct. The planet of good luck, the planet of good luck is direct. That is absolutely wonderful. What is this going to do for you? Well, it is in your house of finances. There's going to be better money coming. And also I want to say Uranus can actually help make changes happen to make that money happen. Good luck happens with money. Opportunities happen. Opportunities manifest opening doors for greater prosperity. So Libra. 
I have a spiritual message for you. What is the spiritual message? There is a spiritual message for you. What is the spiritual message for this first month of the new year? The spiritual message is new vision. The angels of new vision are here. Have a new vision for your life. Remember, Jupiter is here. Jupiter is going to uh, open all kinds of financial opportunities. Uranus is going to allow you to free yourself. You're going to be able to move forward, but you got to figure out what it is that you want. You know, you can have too many options. Figure out what an option you want to focus on and take that path and be, you know, uh, determined to make it happen for yourself. Because this can be a tremendous month of manifestation, but you got to get your home situation right, the people you live with, the people you live around right, and also plan on having some fun for yourself. So Libra, this is your Astro Tarot reading for January 2024. And if you'd like to know what else is going on in your chart, you can contact me at KimAllen.com. That is KimAllen.com.